I'm in uh, beautiful downtown Inverary. You can see behind me the main street. And you can see behind me over here the Loch Fine Whiskey Shop. And I guess that's a, some other kind of building behind me there. And I'm turning around. Well, I'll go get you another view of the Loch Fine Whiskey Shop. I'm going to go in there just in a few moments. Um, this one was uh, recommended to me uh, by people uh, on, uh, on, uh, in the comments of my videos. And so I'm over here. And believe it or not, my tour goes right through Inverary, the tour that took me to Isla, the four-day tour. So this is my opportunity to check out the Loch Fine whiskies, and I hope that they will allow me to photograph or video within the store, and uh, that would be interesting to see what they got. I've already bought, I think, seven bottles, so I don't think I'll be purchasing anything unless something really jumps out at me and it's irresistible. Well, just like the irresistible whiskey that I uh, tried I did that live yesterday. Yeah, that, that video is up. And see if there's a crosswalk. Well, probably no crosswalk, but I'm going to cross the street anyway, or try to. And uh, that way, that way. Oh, nothing coming. Very good. So here we are at Loch Fine Whiskies. This is the interior of the Loch Fine, or Loch Fine, sorry. I got to get my pronunciation straight. Loch Fine whiskies in Inverary, and the selection is just incredible. And I've already got my eye on a bottle that I want to take home, but I don't know. Maybe I can resist the temptation. And they have some interesting things like the author series right up there. And then they have their own bottlings exclusive to this shop. And there's even some miniatures that are exclusive, yes? I think so. A am I correct? Absolutely, yeah. those, those, those are the miniatures that are exclusive to this shop. Uh, it's so hard to choose. But I, I have a taste of one right here. And that's a, uh, a Isla blend. It's a vatted malt. I forget which one it is, but it tastes wonderful. Very a lot of caramel uh, as the uh, peat moves aside and uh, gives you lots of uh, gives you lots of caramel. A sign of a good one is that it changes as you go along. There's many layers of flavor, and I don't know what. Mm. Along with the caramel, that's delicious. Along with the caramel, there's 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 a lot of um, brine in there. And, uh, wow, they got a lot of miniatures here, old malt casks, uh, Galvani 12, they got get Glengiri, they got some Aaron's, and what's that one? I don't know what that is. Single malt scotch, yeah, I don't know what those are. But these are all just miniatures, and exclusive miniatures, wow. Got Glen Cairns and other accoutrements. Very nice. This is a very enjoyable little visit. Uh, thank you for allowing me to uh, shoot some video. So, which Glen is this one, Steve? Uh, this is. Uh, it's on the way to Loch Lomond, though, yes, right? Uh, oh man! Doesn't matter. Uh, I forget there's so many. Oh, there's so exactly. many. Yeah. yeah just, okay. Uh, Let's, let's see Glenn and Afric, uh, Ben's brother. <laughs> okay, fair enough. They'll <laughs> uh, come back to me, but no, no, I'm sorry, I don't know the name of no. it. No worries. Uh, we just entered the Loch Lomond, is it like a national park? Yeah, so this is the, the national park. Yeah, yeah. Na Loch Lomond National Park, and uh, there's this Glen here, and it's uh, it's raining, raining at the moment, so... I, this is the first time I'm putting on this uh, raincoat, and uh, it's, I'm glad I brought it. <laughs> I also have the rubber pants, but they're, they're still in the vase. <laughs> I didn't... Well, yeah. Well, I thought it was going to be like this the whole time. Yeah. 
Oh, just, no, just when you said we're with our rabbi's tour here. This is great. Just great. Now I'm gonna have to put this phone away because it's getting wet. So uh, I'll be back to you later. <laughs> can sort of see the lane getting wider and narrower yeah. as you go along. Yeah, so, well, it's uh, just, uh, just for me to be to the top conclusion is exactly the same length of either side. So yeah, just cool. Really clever uh, use of traffic calming measures there. So, uh, let's kind of get into the war of independence. Dun, 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 dun. What you see there is Stirling Castle. You can Google it if you're interested. In the middle is the fourth road bridge built in the 20th century uh, to, to deal with the amount of car traffic beginning to build up. Um, my mum said if you don't have anything nice to say about bridge, don't say anything. Uh, it's a rubbish. Uh, and then finally, the really sexy one at the end uh, the fourth rail bridge uh, built in the 19th century. So, three bridges, three centuries, all in place in the world. Uh, now, the story of the fourth bridge is actually quite cool, because uh, it doesn't start here, it starts up in Dundee, where an engineer by the name of Sir Thomas Bosch uh, built uh, a bridge, the Dee Bridge, it has a terrible uh, accident uh, and children uh, and hundred people die when the bridge collapses, shocking, uh, so one of the worst disasters that we've ever had here in peacetime, so Sir Thomas Bosch ends up uh, going to jail, uh, and we give him a little nickname uh, to describe any bad jobs. It's called a botch job. Uh, so we remember uh, how bad he was at uh, construction. Uh, so, yeah. so the bridge falls to the, um, the construction uh, company led by William Errol, an engineer from Glasgow, connected to uh, Big Ben, uh, to the Titanic gantries, uh, and here, the fourth bridge. Now, first example of a cantilever bridge anywhere in the world. It's incredibly strong. And he has the best brief an engineer can ever have. Build it strong, build it safe, make sure that it works. Uh, it's an incredibly easy uh, thing for an engineer to hear uh, and a brilliant thing for them to hear. So, gets to work, takes them 10 years. Now he stretches over a kilometre, uh, it's over uh, 330 feet high, it's really big, uh, but incredibly strong. So yeah, um, lots of people, lots of engineers came here uh, to witness this open. Uh, and the last rivet was driven in by the Prince of Wales himself. Uh, the golden rivet somewhere in the middle of the bridge. So yeah, um, that's cool. Now it's stood there since 1890. Uh, and it's weathered all storms, all problems. Uh, it's done really, really well. Um, It'll probably stand for another 125 years. Um, uh, yeah, so incredible. Uh, incredibly strong bridge. So yeah, we're just going to go check out our last little full stop. There's a great little viewpoint. Uh, from here you can check out all three bridges. Um, we'll grab a quick photo uh, and then we'll take you back to the bus station. Get you in before 7 o'clock. Uh, folks, I just got into Edinburgh after my trip to Isla. I'm sorry I didn't uh, get a, a video of the room or the cottage we stayed in. It was the uh, Bowmore Cottages on the Bowmore uh, property, and it was uh, it was really nice, uh, nice cottage. People may have got a glimpse of it from a live stream I did while I was there, but now I'm in. Edinburgh at the Jury's Inn, room number 519. I'm looking out. I'll show you the room. I'm looking out over the train station right now, but you can't see that because you're looking at me into the room. So I'm going to I'm going to stop the phone and start it again looking the other way. There we are, Edinburgh train train station. It's the Edinburgh Waverley train station. And if you look right across the train station, from where we are right now, or is it over there? It's around there somewhere. Uh, the, I'm not sure which one it is. 
it, it's it's right across there somewhere. That was the the hotel I stayed in yesterday. I think the one right across that we're looking at, or one that's a little over there. I think it might. Gosh, I'm not sure now. Yeah, no, it must be that one over there. That one right across there. That was the Motel One. Well, if you know the Motel One in uh, in uh, Edinburgh, that's where I stayed before uh, before Isla. I believe it's that one. Let's see if it says it should say Motel One on it. Uh, I know it's on the corner, and there's um, yeah, that might be it right there. I think it might be it. Anyways, I got a picture of that phallic symbol over there last time. Uh, that's actually the castle. Um, everything's really close together in Edinburgh. No, the castle's not there. The castle's back behind me. What am I talking about? I got my geography all turned around. I'm on the south side now instead of the north side of the uh, Waverley train station. You see some trains there. It's the Edinburgh Waverley train station. The tracks go underground for a while. Now for the room. It, there's some artwork. Let's see if I can... There. There's some artwork. Your standard TV, mirror. And look, there's there's uh, coffee cups and a coffee maker and uh, stuff to make coffee. There's my bags. I managed to get everything in there. I have nine or ten whiskeys that I'm going to take home, and I've got four whiskeys that are... Um, that are going uh, with me. Um, well, four, two I'm going to finish drinking here on the trip, and two I'm going to give away, hopefully. I plan to do that. I've got enough uh, bedding for three. I'm going to use the double bed all to myself and another bed there. So this is a great room. Um, uh, what did it cost me? 59 pounds, so a little over 100 Canadian, $120. And got cups so I can have glasses of water. There's a crapper and oh, a real tub rather than just a shower. How nice! It's a nice deep one too. Oh, that's great. That's great. And there you get a look at the tired, tired Quig, who's uh, been doing some traveling. And uh, yeah, they got here irons. I've never used an iron ever. There's my winter, well, my my all weather jacket, which I actually used today because it was raining when we were. Entering uh, the Loch Lomond, or one of the first glens before coming to Loch Lomond on the way here from uh, uh, Isla, or from, what was the name of that town? It wasn't Oban, it was down the peninsula from Oban, I forget the name, I'd have to look at a map. I'm kind of lazy right now. So this is in the room and the jewelry's in, and uh, great, I will see you sooner. Food quick. Uh, food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>